Hey guys, welcome back to Techogram. Today we're gonna learn what is virtual base class concept. So this is a concept of hybrid inheritance. So this is an example of hybrid inheritance. We have declared a base class and derived two classes from the base class then again we have merged these two classes and created a new class called derived class 3 so this looks simple first we have just created two derived classes and merged them but for an example we have declared a simple integer here x is equal to 10 and then in the derived class 1 we have declared a a and then in this we have declared b with value 20 and 30 respectively and in the third derived class we have called a multiplication function so the value are x multiply a multiply b because you can see there are three variables so we have taken x into a into b so this will become 10 into 20 into 30 because we have already given the value here 10 20 and 30 and so in theory it should be 6000 so i have already written a program and i'm going to show you what what is virtual base class used for so you, you can see when you derive these two classes the copy of x will be taken by both of these classes so there is a copy of x in this class also and in this class also and when you merge these two classes what problem will arise that it will get confused that which x should be taken because there is one x and there are two x in this so the virtual base class concept look over this concept and how to solve this error so we will first take a program so this program is entirely based on our previous videos. So if you have not checked out the previous video, I will request you to go check them out. So you will understand what is going on here. First, we have included our basic header files as usual. We have created one base class. You can see in the diagram, there is one base class and we have declared an integer x in that. And then we have declared two derived class. So it is derived one and then derived two. We have declared each a variable integer a and integer b and then we have merged this derived classes and created a new class which is called class derived so we will we can name it whatever we want this is user defined so derived and name our two derived classes so this we have created and now in that we have created a multiple function so as i said you in the example x is equal to a is equal to b so it should become 10 into 20 into 36000 but we will see what will end then in the main function we have called our three variables which are x a and b and we will pass the value here so x we will write 10 you can directly pass the value from here because these are just variables and a is equal to 20 and b equals to 30 so in theory as i said this should become 6000 but we will see what will happen when we run the program so you can see there are two errors member is ambiguous base x and base x member is ambiguous base this means that the error which we have talked earlier it has created a copy of x x variable in both these derived classes so when i call the single x here this created an error so what we will do if you remove this x for example if we have removed this x so we have to remove this from everywhere so if we have removed this from here also and then if we have removed it from our base class 2 then it should not give any type of error you can see 600 because 13 to 20 is equal to 600 but if you keep this this will give you error so what we will do we will just write a simple keyword which i will show you what is that the keyword is virtual you have to write virtual virtual in front virtual before the public base class when you have derived the our derived classes so we will write virtual and virtual this virtual concept makes sure that the program inherits only one copy of that base class so now only one copy of x will be taken so we will write we will so we will run our program so you can see there is no error and the output is 6000 this this is how the virtual base class solves the problem of hybrid inheritance. If you have any suggestion or query or any question regarding the program, please leave that in the comment box. Subscribe for more. Thank you.